right? Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. I want to give it all to the city apostles of great mercy to do rule well. Salutation to the men of the hope and sin say lek. Alright? Now we'll tear once again through the spirit and, and will of Yahweh Shemiel Shai to prophesy to the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans that make up the house of Israel. Alright? That, you know, we, we hear in the last days and the Lord saying to repent. Repent and turn back. Right, because the word repent means to turn back, repent and come back to the Lord. The Haba Shemi Al Shine. The reason why I say come back is because there's only a certain group of people that can come back to the Lord, the Haba Shemi Al Shai. Alright? Pursuing to the scriptures, he says, Thou never bears rule over them. So the other nations, they never belong to the Lord. The Lord was never their God. He said he made um, he says he made um, basically he is the God of Israel. Right, and I became their God, as what he said. Right, so in these last days, the Lord Yahweh Shemi Shai sent his faith for men, his faith for messengers, his faith for witnesses out here to prophesy and to wake up the elect. All right, the scripture says, The son of my sea shall cast forth fish. All right, and you see the fishes coming up, they might come up one by one, they might come up two by two. And guess what? They might come up, you know, by a handful. Because the Lord waking up his men in these last days, all around the earth. All around the earth, the Lord Yahweh Shemi Shai is rising his men up. And that is why you could see camps. Ezekiel 37, it says what? They rose upon their feet, a large army. Also in Revelation 11, it says that great fear fell upon them. Because Esau knows, the so-called white man knows that his destruction is imminent, that his destruction is at hand. Alright? His destruction is, is what we're looking for, it is inevitable. It cannot be avoided. Esau's downfall, the so-called white man, his the end of his kingdom is inevitable. Alright? What did the scripture said? The scripture says that the end of the world might come to them. The Lord made you to rule for a short while. He also said to Pharaoh, for this cause have I raised thee up. So now if the Lord raised up Pharaoh for the first exodus, to take him out with a great destruction, that his name shall be declared throughout all the earth. Think how great the Lord Yahweh Shemi Shai's name could be declared in, in this last days. He so use the, use the chief, use the chief of the flock right now. Alright? The head of the heathens. Alright? You're the head of the heathens right now. Beginning with America. Alright? And the Lord Yahweh Shemi Shai coming to destroy you with a great destruction pursuant to Revelation chapter 12. We're gonna make war. You know, in the heaven, the scripture says there's a war in heaven. But guess what? You're gonna be utterly destroyed. All right. This is Isaiah chapter nine and verse five. It says, "For every battle, it says for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and full of fire." All right. Fire from a nuclear destruction. That is the reason you see. All these countries parading about with their arsenals, their, their nuclear arsenals. They're not for um, politics, they're not there for show or for parade. They will be used during World War III. Isaiah 54, the Lord said he created the smith and the waster for destruction. He created the smith and the waster for destruction, right? read the scripture real quick. Um, it says Nahum chapter 3 and verse 3 it says the horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses and there is none enter their corpses they stumble up, um, upon their corpses says because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot 
the mistress of witchcraft that's selling nations through a whoredom, the families through a witchcraft. And I'm talking about America. All right? So America, the scripture says they were drunk by the wine, by her wine. The wine of her philosophies, her democracies, all nations, they look into America for the thing to do. All right? And the Lord, Yahaba Shemi Al Shai, the scripture says all the nations are mad. The Lord Yahaba Shemi Al Shai is going to bring destruction upon the head all the way down to the toes. All right? The Lord is going to destroy the whole power structure of the world. We saw into Revelation 19, he said the Lord, he had got crowns upon his head because he came here conquering and to conquer, he made war with the beasts. And all these nations that, that now, I in league with you know with Esau, the so-called white man, the Lord Yahweh Shimei Hashem gonna destroy them. He's going to destroy them. All right, he's going to destroy them. This is Joel chapter three and verse nine. This says, "Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles: Prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near and let them come up." All right. Let them come up. That is why you're seeing, you're seeing nations now, they're joining up together. The scripture says, um, Gog and Magog will be a, um, a shield and unto the nations. All right? And Gog, when you go back in his Zondervan, Gog and Magog basically shield that it goes back to what? To Russia. All right? And the scripture says, from out of the north, Wasters gonna come. You don't come with an assembly of nations. Alright? With an assembly of nations. Now, ancient Babylon was destroyed by two nations, the Medes and the Persians. Now some people might say, well, hey, the Persians, they had armies from different civilizations, you know, in their army. But guess what? They were still called um they were still called Persians basically they were under the Persian army this time now you have the Russians you have North, North Korea you have China you have Brazil you have um, Venezuela you have all these countries not against America as the scripture says they will they're gonna burn her with fire proves that that modern-day Babylon is America so they're preparing for war right now. That war with Ukraine, the war going on there with um, with Palestine and the Houthis you know, and, and um, Israel. All right, now America getting into it, Europe getting into it. Guess what? All of this, the Lord said it. I read it again. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Why is it among the Gentiles? Why is it not include um, among all the nations, including Israel? Because they're saying our war. They say in our war, we're not fighting to keep this kingdom afloat. Though some of our people will be in those armies because they believe in this system. The scripture says that the ones that are going to be destroyed, be destroyed are the ones that marvel at the beast. Whose name were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. Alright, so a lot of our people, they believe in this system. But for the most part, especially the elect, you know, be that part of the hopefully like we don't believe in America's system. We don't believe in America's fascist system that they're trying to set up because we ain't gonna be a part of it. We're not gonna be a part of it. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shemi Al Shai. Alright? So we're not trying to support this system. Um the scriptures talk about um the dragon, the scarlet colored dragon, the seven head and ten horns, when you hold right upon, basically that dragon is a support for the whole, which is America, that great city. And we not helping to support that whole. We will help to support the burner with fire because for Swin is here, chapter 66 and 15, it says, Behold, the Lord cometh with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. The Lord said he's come to set fire on the earth. And that's we're gonna because guess what? There's gonna be one war. There's gonna be one war. Alright? During World War III, while the nations fighting against each other, Yahweh Shai is gonna make his entrance. And all these nations they're gonna turn their attention to Yahweh Shai. Bill Clinton said it. 
said, you know, we'll have to put aside our differences and come together to fight an alien threat. They know, they know the prophecies on their way to come to pass. Coming to pass. As Apostle Tara said, it could be this year. And we pray that it's this year. We pray that the Lord come now and, you know, gather his elect. The apostles, they asked the Lord, they said, Lord, well, thou at this set time, restore again the kingdom to Israel. Not to everybody, to Israel. And we pray now, pray every day. Lord, well, thou at this set time, every year, for the new, the, the, the new year's eve of destruction, that is basically us asking the Mosai, asking Yahweh Hashem Shai, the same thing that the apostles asked Yahweh Shai when he was ascending after his resurrection. Every year, for the New Year's Eve of destruction, when the apostles, they, they name the year, that is basically the elect saying, Lord, Lord will do at this said time, restore again the kingdom to Israel. Is this the year, Lord? Because we want to come out of this place. We want to see that salvation, but we also want to see the destruction of the wicked. Are we looking forward to it? It says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near and let them come up. Beat your plowshares into sword. The scripture says there is no peace to the wicked. The Lord take away the peace from the earth right now. And your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. Alright, the, the, the weak say not. Alright, there are strong nations, there are weak nations. He's talking about the nations and the earth. A lot of the nations, they're saying they're strong right now because of who they have backing with. Just like the nations, with the BRICS nations, they started off with four, all right? Then, with five, and then I, I think they said by, by summer, if I'm not mistaken, I think by summer this year, there's expected to be 10 more nations approximately 10 more nations to join so guess what all these nations they fleeing from babylon they say now nah, here it is going on the us dollar done you know let's go where we have where we have safety so these nations they're running towards the bear which is russia they're running towards that help and those are the two powerhouses that are gonna engage in the in the water and all wars russia and america russia and america It says, Assemble yourselves and come, all the heathen, and gather yourselves together round about, till of course thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be awakened and let them come to the valley of Jehoshaphat. When you look up the word Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat in Hebrew, it goes back to Yahweh Shapat. Shapat is judgment judge or judgment Yahweh's judgment all right it says for there will I sit to judge all the heathen wrong about because that is why the Lord got in the heathens to judge them to judge all of them to destroy all their armies what the scripture says can any man break into the strong man's house without first binding the strong man that is the Lord binding the strong man that is the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai binding the strong man. He bringing all the armies. The Lord, the Lord, who the scripture said, the Lord said, I have laid a snare for the and thou art taken. I was not aware. The Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai set up a, a snare, a trap for the world's army to gather themselves in one area where they could be destroyed. In one area. That is, that is the doing of the Lord. All right? It says, put you in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The fat overflow, for their wickedness is great. Their wickedness is great. All right? Now they, yeah man. Now they're out here, you know, pushing all these, you know, these, these, these rights for, you know, the, the ABC people. All right? To do all these wickedness and the scripture says right judgment does not go forth also 
you know, they, they basically, they're trying to, you know, to destroy the saints of the Mosai. The people of Israel, Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, which, which are the, the chosen people of the Mosai. Because there's, there's news coming out that they're basically, um, basically using, you know, the diseases like the seafood or whatnot and weaponizing them to attack certain ethnicities ethnicity ethnicities right so we know what nation they targeting they we know what nation they targeting all right you so-called negroes and native americans all right the offscoring of all people right it says multitudes multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of your harbor shamir shai is near in the valley of decision it says the sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. It says, and why why would this why would the um the sun and the moon and the stars withdraw their shining? Just think about a nuclear explosion. All that smoke, all that soot. Alright, they're gonna block out the atmosphere. Just think about volcanic eruption, a volcanic eruption not even near, you know, to a, a, um, a nuclear explosion. I remember more than 20 years ago, um, Soufre, the volcano Soufre in Montserrat, right, and Montserrat a good distance, you know, up the China Islands, and that volcano, it was acting up. And I remember it was around, it was Boxing Day. And I was in St. Vincent at the time, and ashes, ashes from that volcano reached St. Vincent. So if that volcano could, it wasn't, I don't even think it was erupting, like casting um, cinder and, and magma all over the place. It was just, you know, it was erupting, but not casting, you know. It wasn't that devastating, but the ashes, it, it spread far. And that was from one volcano. All right? Now think about, as the scripture said, 200,000, 1,000 missiles going off. Exploding one after the other. Now you can feel that rumble. The scripture said the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 19 it says, The earth is utterly broken down, the earth is clean dissolved, the earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. It says, And the transgressions thereof shall be heavy upon it. Yeah, the scripture says their, 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 their iniquities have, you know, have exceedingly increased. All right, the wickedness that they're doing upon the earth, the Lord, every scripture says, every day the Lord brings judgment to light. But the unjust know it, no shame. The scripture said, neither could they blush. So for all the all the judgment the Lord doing, they're not going to turn from their wickedness. But I think in Revelation said they still have a nation of teeth, and they're still going to continue doing wicked. They're doing it right now. Pursuant to Jeremiah 5, it says, they know not the way of the Lord, nor his judgments. So they're being judged and not even know they're being judged. You think it's Satan doing that, but guess what? It's the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yashai raining judgment down. And it's not, it's, that is your fault you don't understand. That is your fault. That is not up to the Lord. That is not the Lord's problem. It's not the Lord's problem that you don't understand that you're being judged because the Lord sent his men out here. And he said, you have no cloak for your sin. He sent his men out here so you no longer have a cloak for your sins right it says the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgressions thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again and it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh Shemir Shai shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are high and the kings of the earth that are upon the earth so from you know the elites all the way down to the peons you know they 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 um 
the ministers, the governments, all right? All the people that are in league with them, the Lord, the Harbour, Shemi Al Shai, coming to destroy them. Because, like, the governments, right? Like, even here in Trinidad, you have the government, you have the ruling party, and you have the Democratic Party, right? But they have a lot of financiers that finance them. So they to support the finances, they're supporting the B system. So the Lord gonna take you out also. All you who in your bunkers, the Lord coming to destroy you all. Judgment is coming to this world. Great judgment, exceeding judgment, very evil is coming to this world. And the only how you're gonna escape the judgment. Now you might escape few missiles in a bunker, but you are not going to escape the judgment. Lord save me if you go down to hell. He coming down there. The Lord gonna rip you out your bunkers. You think you can hide? The script this you the scripture says, is there any place that you can hide that my eyes can't see you? Do not I feel heaven and earth? Say to you, Shai. You can't hide from the Lord. Imagine you trying to hide from the Lord and the Lord seeing you. The Lord watching you digging a hole with the interest. You know, I'm gonna hide from the Lord. And the Lord just there standing looking at you. Alright, alright. You know, I stand here, I wait until you're done. You, you dig your hole, you build your bunker, and you go inside, and then I'll just lift the whole bunker out with you in it. You can't hide from the Lord, you have Hashem, you have The scripture says the eyes of the Lord are upon the face of the earth. Right? It says, and it shall come to pass, Isaiah chapter um, 24 and verse 21, and it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh Hashem, you have shall punish the high ones that are on high. And the kings of the earth that are upon the earth and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit yeah the lord gonna gather you out and they shall be shut up in prison and after many days they shall be visited because you're gonna go to a thousand years of slavery you're not gonna escape the scripture says they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup of a shortly drunken, and I doubt he that shall altogether go unpunished. It says, Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So you're not gonna escape slave. You're not gonna escape the hardship that you put us through. Alright? <clears throat> the nation of Israel. You're not gonna escape. Alright? The Lord said. <clears throat> Slack. the Lord said that he that touch it you touch it touch it me right touch it the apple of the Lord's eye all right I want to look up the word apple and go back to the word Baba which means what the most precious thing it means the most precious thing all right you touching the Lord's most precious thing is gems right it says, Then the moon shall be confounded and the sun ashamed when the Lord Yahweh Shemiah Shai shall reign in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem before the ancients gloriously. So now what does that mean? What does that mean when it says that the Lord when he reigned in Mount Zion that the sun and the moon shall be confounded what is what do the scripture say in revelation the scripture says that you know the kingdom the city shall have no need they shall have no need for the sun and the moon for the Lord shall be the light in it so the Lord gonna be there with his chariot as the scripture says, I believe is in Revelation 10 it says what has the sun shining in his glory all right a bright cloud um believe is Matthew 17 said a bright cloud overshadowed them now that cloud ain't talking about in this modern time we'll be calling cloud in you know, a puff of smoke cloud Cloud. When you look up the etymology of the word cloud, they go back to the word clot, 
which means mountain. It means mountain. All right. And was that good? You know, the picture I always like to bring out there is with the Vimanas, with the East Indians in their mythology. Their gods roll in, in flying vehicles called Vimanas, shaped like a mountain. All right. So what? mountainous structures would have been flying in the heavens that the, the, the ancient prophets would have been seen and call them clouds second Ezra chapter 13 he saw a mountain cut out he was talking with the chariots of the Mosai large mountainous structures that is why the scripture said the curse that covered the whole earth why is it a curse because it's a curse to the wicked it's a curse to the wicked but to the righteous, that is the means of their salvation. That is their, how to say, that is their ark. Because the, the ancient ark was made from wood to basically withstand water. The modern day ark is going to be able to withstand fire. That is the modern day ark. That the Lord is going to deliver up the elected. And we're gonna be looking down, be that we part of the whole field, like we're gonna be looking down as the scripture says, standing on a sea of glass, like the poor men looking down at America being destroyed, engulfed in fire, giving praises to Yahaba Shai. Right? Giving praises to Yahaba Shai. Book of Psalms, chapter 58 and 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he see the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judges the earth. Yes, so they're gonna they're gonna rejoice. When they see the destruction of America, when they see the destruction of Babylon the Great, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the Lord had prepared destruction for you. As the scriptures say, destruction upon destruction is cried. Isaiah 34 and verse 1 it says, Come near ye nations to hear. Call it the nations again. It says, And hearken ye people, let the earth hear, and let all that is therein, and the world, and all things that come forth to it. And how they hear? By the prophets. The mouthpiece of the Lord. The scripture said he had hewn them by his prophets. The Lord sent us out here to prophesy. That's all the Lord sent us out here to do, to prophesy, prophetess. Say before, before I say, I think that is when you look at the word um, prophesy. Pro, before, fit, um, fitess, I say, before I say. Alright? So we say in the spirit of the Lord, because all we, all we are are just programmable beings. And the Lord put his words in us to come out here. Just like the movie Inception, where you could um, control a person's movements by what? Planting a suggestion in their dreams. That is basically straight out of the scriptures. That is what the Lord does. So the Lord put it in us. He put, he put it in us that we for us to come out here and, and preach this word. To declare this gospel. And to wake up the elect. The main thing, to wake up the elect. Because just like, and um, I'll read this real quick. All right, so I'm missing a few pages in Genesis, but basically that going back to um, with um, Solomon Gomorrah 
and what the angels the angels they told lot how we are depart from the city because we can do nothing until you depart and it's the same thing the same thing in these last days they can't do nothing until the elect be delivered that's why he said see the four winds hold back the four winds until the 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 the, 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 the servants of the lord be sealed all right Revelation 7 and 1 and after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree and I saw an, another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living God and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. And that is that angels can soon be loose during World War III. It says, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. By what? By this word. This word, that is how we're being sealed. By this word. All right? We're being sealed by this word, by the belief in Yahaba Hashem Shai, see by the Holy Spirit of promise as the scripture says the doctrine of our salvation right and I heard the number of them that was sealed and there was sealed and hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel right and that is the elect that is the ruling government of Israel 144,000 now there are other people that are going to be saved because the scriptures talk about um, there was an innumerable multitude of all the nations and that make up women, children and other men of the nation of Israel the one third that scattered throughout all the world but the 144,000 is men of that, that are going to be the ruling government alright that is the ruling government. That is why he's saying Isaiah chapter 26 and 20 says, Come thou enter into thy chambers. You're gonna see the elect going up. Going back to Isaiah 34. It says, Come ye, come near ye nations and hear and hearken ye people, and let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world, and all the things that come forth of it. For the indignation of Yahaba Hashem Yashai is upon all nations. That is why the Lord got in all the nations pursuing to Joel 3. The Lord Yahaba Hashem Yashai, He got in all the nations to destroy them at once. It says, and His fury upon all their armies. It says, He had utterly destroyed them. He had delivered them to the slaughter. It says, Their slain shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses. It says, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. It says, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together like a scroll. So you're gonna be enfolded in itself. That is the way called a mushroom cloud. That's why people all over the world having dreams with, with nuclear missiles going off and mushrooms cloud. Guess what, that is pursuing to prophecy. That is pursuing to prophecy. And their host shall fall down as a leaf falleth from the vine, and as a fallen fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bared in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, and Idumia is the Greek way of Saint Edom, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. It says, The sword of Yahabah Shemiahusha is filled with blood, it is made fat with fatness. And with the blood of the lambs and goats, and with the fat and the kidneys of rams. For Yahaba Hashem Yahushai had a sacrifice in Bozra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia, because the Lord prepared Esau for destruction. 
the Lord Yahab Hashem Yahushai, he is preparing Esau for destruction. You Edomites, the Lord Yahab Hashem Yahushai is going to wipe you off the face of the earth. He's going to wipe you off the face of this earth. And that is what we're looking forward to. We're looking forward to that. You really think we're out here doing this just because we are nothing to do? We're doing this because we want a better life. And we know a better life cannot be given to us except to be given from Yahab Hashem Yahushai. The scripture says all good gifts come from the Most High. And the only time we will truly have rest is when we're in our own kingdom. There's no peace in the There's no rest in the land of the wicked. The scripture says when the wicked rule, the people mourn. Are we mourning right now? We mourning right now. Let's see if I can find this precept. Ah, uh, this is Isaiah chapter fifty nine, verse ten. We grow up for the wall like the blind, so we not see no way. And we grow up as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as in the night. And we are in desolate places as, it, as, as dead men. Yeah, because the scripture said among these nations we're going to have no ease. It says we roar, we roar all like bears. And I go back to what? To protesting. You see people uprising and protesting all over the world. So what? We roar all like bears and mourn so like doves. We look for judgment, but there is none for salvation, but it is far off from us. You understand? And that is how we were in this kingdom. That is how we were in this kingdom. But the Lord Yahaba Hashem Shai, the Lord Yahaba Hashem Shai, he is our redeemer. He's the only one that could deliver us. He's the only one that could succor us. And that is how we receive in our help. Um It says Hosea chapter 13 and verse 9 it says O Israel thou hast destroyed thou hast destroyed thyself but in me is thy help all right in the Lord Yahweh Hashem is your help your help ain't coming from no other direction your help is from the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because who could and the scripture says um when he's about to deliver and none can hinder but also he says what there's none that can deliver from his hand there's none that can deliver from the hand the mighty hands of Yahaba Hashem Yahushai because when he take away the peace of the earth guess what who could say you know basically let me, let me make everything back to good then the Lord said they will build up but I will throw down the Lord said they will build up but I will throw down because the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is not for this kingdom. This is Psalms 137 verse 8. It says, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed? Who art to be destroyed? Alright? America was made to be destroyed. It wasn't made to last. It says, Who art to be destroyed? It says, Happy shall he be that reward thee as thou still dost. So just as, you know, what you did to us it's going to be done unto you as you have done unto the Lord's chosen unto the Lord's people the house of Israel the Negroes Latinos and Native Americans you've done it to us throughout all the years to the conquistadors the buffalo soldiers alright you did it to us in the the um we call it the, the Inquisition period the Spanish Inquisition in 1500s alright to the Aztecs the Mayans the North American Indians in North Atlantic slave trade. All right. Even when we over here, we were trying to live good. Black Wall Street, all the atrocities that you did in Tulsa, Oklahoma, besides Black Wall Street, Greenwood. All right. 
all the atrocities that you did to us, the Lord Yahweh Hashem is going to reward you as you rewarded us. <laughs> that is why he said you're going to go into prison. He said you're going to go into prison and after many days you shall be you shall be visited because after a thousand years of slavery you're going to be destroyed thus say the Lord how we know Esau is going to be destroyed pursuing to Obadiah chapter 1 well Obadiah is one chapter but he said what verse 18 he says there shall be none remaining of the house of Esau <laughs> and that just took, that just proves how some of you people going off some of you other camps or some of you other men you going off because you believe that Esau will be saved but the scripture said there shall be none remaining of the house of Esau so how does that scripture fall into your breakdown how does that scripture fall into your breakdown how does that fit in if the so-called white man could be saved if he gonna be joined together with us in the kingdom, how does Obadiah 1 and 18 fit in? Happy, verse 9, Psalms 137 and 9. Happy shall he be that take it and dash it thy little ones against the stones. Understand? Because the Lord gonna bring great destruction upon him. You're gonna wipe him out. The scripture said, The eyes that see him shall see him no more eyes that see him shall see him no more also said when he's about to fill his belly are we seeing him you know trying to fill his belly right now preparing for his you know his um new world agenda his 2020 vision his vision 2021 set up his his um novos auto sucrorum all right his new world order we look up the world, world, go back to age, his new age. That is where he's setting up his new age order, his new age of order. All right? That is where he's trying to set up a new age. They say a new, and we are dawning onto a new age. All right? But the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yashai said, What he disappointed the device of the crafty. He disappointed the device of the crafty. One thing Esau didn't bank on is the nation of Israel regaining their regaining light. They didn't bank on that. They didn't bank on us returning, calling upon the name Yahaba Hashem Shai. Because if they were wise, as the scripture says, or that they were wise, they would have considered their latter end. If they considered their latter end, they would have known that when we return to our heritage, and call upon the name of Hashem Yahashai, destruction of the nation that enslaved us soon follows. Destruction of the nation that enslaved us soon follows. And the Lord Yahabah Hashem Yahashai is going to bring the Israel to say swift destruction. Alright? Going to make a speedy riddance. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 22. For a fire is kindled in my anger. My, my justice come. Yeah. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 2. It says. A fire is kindled in my anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell. So, when it says burning unto the lowest hell, that means it, the fire is going to be so intense. They say, according to Esau, Esau says the, the temperature of the sun is like 15 trillion Fahrenheit, right? 15 trillion Fahrenheit. And they said a nuclear missile could range between 50 to 150 trillion Fahrenheit. It's a nuclear missile can either turn you to stone or turn you to nothing. That is the intense heat of the nuclear missile. 
So it's gonna burn right in the scripture of top of a lake of fire. The Lord gonna make all things refreshed by, by way of burning. The Lord said, I believe that Isaiah 11, he says that he's gonna do it with the judgment of um, the spirit of judgment and the spirit of burning. Understand? And that is what the world gonna receive, the spirit of burning. And basically, you know, what the Lord, the Abashem, and Shai, and do to the earth is basically a slash and burn. Men is considered trees, right? So the most high, you know, according to Revelation 14, Yahweh Shai, you know, cast in the sickle, you know, and going and cut the all, um, all the unwanted, the wanted, you know, and, you know, um, gotta, and put into a safe place, but all the unwanted, you know, and be there and going and burn it up as stubborn. As something else, yeah. And it's Matthew chapter 3 and verse 12 it says whose hand whose fan is in his hand and he shall thoroughly purge his floor and he shall gather the wheat into the garner and he will burn the chaff with unquenchable fire so yeah that, that everlasting heat mainly from the new premises and the chariots of fire when you are shining it in the scripture says it's not with us run the clouds and when the Lord come back and his chariots so they can carry a, a, a different kind of spiritual heat also by way of those means and heat you understand how they show in a independent state you know and um, also what word rules when it gets zapped they turn into nothing but dust and okay. the scripture says in 2nd Corinthians well, chapter 13 nothing was left but um, dust and sort of um, smoke you so they know they know the scriptures that is why they, they put these things in them like I mentioned, Inception early on, in Inception, they're showing how they could, you know, insert a suggestion in your dreams to make you do what they want to do, and that's basically straight out the scriptures. This is Isaiah chapter 64 and 1, it says, Oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. As when the melting fire burn it, the fire causes the waters to boil. It says to make thy name known to thy, advers to thy adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. And that is just like you know when he came down um, on Mount Sinai, um, and he's on the one by um, by the picture of the dictionary, um, which is one I believe this is the um, Edisham El Apostataha has one also. Right, they say down to this day, Mount Sinai is still the top of it, still scorched down to this very day. When the Aushai came down, you know, on top of that, on a mountain with that chariot, it's still scorched down to this day. You understand? The Matthew Deuteronomy 32 it says, For a fire shall be, for, um, for a fire is kindled in my anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations and the mountains. I will heap up mischief upon them. I will spend my arrows upon them. It says they shall be burnt with hunger and devoured with burning heat. And so when it says spend those arrows, each and every one of those nuclear warheads going to be used, right? In Samat, I believe in the Samat, they could um, carry at least what, 15 to 30 nuclear warheads or semi Poseidon, right? The yeah, um, American United States um, Minuteman, you know, Santa can, carry, can only carry about two um, nuclear warheads. But the thing about each and every one of those nuclear warheads come at the tip of an arrow. And each and every one of them will be used. The scripture says it will never have been like such a game. So we don't have missiles, uh, the modern day arrow, the modern day spear, the modern day javelin. Huh? It says, um, verse 24, it says, they shall burn with hunger. And devour with burning heat and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them, and the poisons of serpents of the dust. But the Lord, Lord coming to bring great destruction. And not only upon the wicked, but upon two thirds of our people. Amos 9 and 10, the scripture says, Um gosh, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. That's right. And what we're trying to do, we're trying to. Is Ezekiel 33, 11? Let's go with that from Babakusha. 
this is um, we're trying for you to escape the structure but guess what when we say we're trying to get you to escape the structure because we don't know who the elect are so we're trying to wake up the elect among the two thirds so when we say we're trying to get you to wake up, it's really the elect among the tutors because we know tutors of you not going to wake up. The scriptures say, they that sleep in the shall awake, some to everlasting um, life and some to everlasting shame and contempt. When you awake, it will be for your own destruction. That is when you're going to learn. That is when you're going to know. That is when you're going to say, you know what, if we did know. God. Hey, and I see just to share that we are, we are the kingdom of priests because according to the law, we're supposed to separate the holy from the profane. It's actually taking out the lepers and crushers, jewels, out of, out of the stones, whatever the case is, and separating it from the Messiah of Hashem and Shai. You understand that two thirds we leave there. You understand separating the holy from the profane or the clean from the holy, yeah. which we're supposed to do. I just read it in Matthew chapter 3. It said, You shall throw the purges floor and separate the, 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 the wheat. From the chair. That's right. And the Lord doing that through us. The word. The word is the scepter. The apostles always bring out the word is the scepter. And we know him. Can we know him fan? Um is it tell the truth you have to see that it says, say unto them, as I live, set your abashion and shy power, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. But that the wicked turn from his way and live, turn he, turn he from your evil ways. For why will you die, your house of Israel? Yeah, for why will you die, your house of Israel? That is the same thing when your house shall say. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Lord, you how shy he was praying for men like Paul. That's right. Uh, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. The Lord was praying for men like Paul. You understand? Because the Lord, hey, for all you know, the Lord could have seen all the elect in the crowd that were against him, that were uh, in, the, in that ignorant state. Hmm. Guess what? For all you know, yeah, there, there could be brothers that are in the truth right now who started out, you know, being against the, the doctrine. Started out as Christians, started out as Muslims, all right, Rastafarians. Hey, Kwam. Kwam was a Rastafarian. And he started out contending with a brother concerning the word. And then he realized that, hey, what is brother bringing out? Is it true? Because I can't contend against that it. And look right. where he is. Look where he is now. And, uh, even a testimony of me, I, I used to pass across uh, a lot of things. You know, I, I would admit I was saying was the truth, right? Because I did watch the documentary at the time from Hebrew, um, from Negro to Hebrew slaves, you know, from Hebrew slaves to um, from Hebrew to Negro slaves. You understand? But one thing that because Christianity just have you so dumb down. I put my mother time. Um, a girl she did like me a guy means used to be the same church, right? So I was saying, she came and asked me about the brothers who didn't because we're on the promenade. I said, well, I came across, I watched, I said many other things, the same, but they actually is shoot, right? But I remember watching a time, um, you remember the, the sign where he saw in chains and Jake with his soul, like, nah, God love everybody. You know, that's, that's, I said, I don't believe in that part. But then when it, when it get to really understand, you know, I have a shanash, I took me, I see scriptures, I scriptures come out like Revelation 2, 3, 9. Um, 10, you know, he that leads into captivity, um, he that are here, let him hear, right? He that leads into captivity, shall go into captivity, and, and then the most I just open that vision, like, oh, wait, these people brought us into captivity. So, well, yeah, the, 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 it's true, and then when you go back into Esau, if you know the history of the so called white man, right, I shall sure always, you know, when you see, and you know, a little bit of science, right, basically, you know, um, he has basically no melanin or, or that melatonin to produce um, melanin right? and he not like the other nations that actually have a greater amount of melanin you understand so there's a lot of things and then you know Job 9.24 right it is given into the hand of the wicked one you know watch who, who rule in the world it's them so it, it's obvious and then even in the world you notice for some reasons the so-called white man and the other nations they could collab but we are the so-called white man Going back into with that Genesis 22, 22, basically we can't pull. You know, we can't pull for, for nothing. You understand? And it's only because of Christian, because when I was in the world, I was basically racist. I didn't like white people, especially when they watch movies like Roots. You understand? But Christianity will actually dumb me down, like, hey, hey, God, you know? <laughs> but yeah. Now, when you the know? scriptures say, until I came into the house of the Lord, then understand I his, um, his end. Yeah. Only when you come to the house, because this is the house of the Lord. 
business, son. This is the house in there. Only when they come into the truth, then they start to get understanding the suits. Um, read this real quick. And this is Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 14. Um, it says, Turn O backsliding children, say the Lord, if I am married unto you, and I'll take you one of the city and to my family, and I'll bring you to Zion, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that is how we start to understand this word. Beginning with the apostles, all the way down, they teach us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right? Good. Um, this one, what exactly which verse it said again? I uh, wanted to read verse 22 also. Uh, okay. um, Psalm 73, verse 22. So foolish was I and ignorant, I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am um, continually with thee, thou hast holden me by my right hand. You understand? So, yes, yeah, um, basically, so foolish were we. But, um, it's a, um, it's right? But, yeah, we, we were once foolish. Because what? It's at a point in time he was in the movements of the world. You understand? Being fooled by the doctrines of men. Right? But the Lord, the scripture said the Lord has pulled us by right hand because every every time we, we stepped in some kind of religion, or whatever the case is, because guess what? When I was born, I was christened as a so-called Pentecost. I even baptized after Pentecost after but I went into like Baptist, you know, um Roman Catholic Jovia with the all the went to these different churches where they said that's something not you know they missing some ingredients inside of this this the soup right which was what we really actually the truth that that the truth was actually favored the truth understanding of the scriptures and you only get up when you have a shame and shame shot to start to stop with you and i begin with the men of great new stone with the elders and the apostles of great new stone it's not no if no but no maybe it's true you know you can read um read verse 2 and 3 and then jump to 15. i can right so read in verse 2 and 3 John to 15 to, in Psalm 73, it says, But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. I remember first reading this precept. I was like, Where is, where is the truth? <laughs> because there are lots of movies, you know, where Esau is such a Christmas time and see the abundance of toys, you know, they will get and, you know, the at that time, you're, you're, you're full of the big Christmas show, all this kind of abundance of the wealth, all them living, you know, they the cover and fridge well packed. I, you remember, know? I remember a point where I was envious at the beginning. Man. I was watching a documentary, and they was talking about Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, they were showing them either my sons or yeah. chosen as by the you know, I wish I was an Israelite. I'm like, that. Yes, that. Yeah, yeah. I said, Well, I wish I was an Israelite. I was envious at them because at that point, I thought they were Israel. Not knowing that we are. God. That is the irony in it. Yes, son. I'm at. Right. I myself, I, I was like, hey, I wanted to be like, I'm in Jeremiah, I catch hell. <laughs> right? But like, hey, I wanted to be like Jeremiah. You know, where you oh, oh, um, Jeremiah and also like it was who? Samuel. You know, they show them movies where they, they will show you any movies like God actually talking to and in here. And I like, yeah, but I I would like that. I got to, you know, you have a show to, to speak to me. So yeah, you actually envious and then most these are Moses like what God has done for these people and like where well, I wish I was there you understand to see the might and because guess what naturally one of small to me the most I have a shaman shaman was my superhero I mean they have superman and this kind of thing but like yeah we actually have a superhero you know yeah I wish I really walked in with and said peace be still at me you see you know that big storm I'm like yeah you know even the script and say what man of man is this that you can be winning and the seas you know, they obey him, you know, so who are more born or not, so this is some, you know, we'll look up to, but within our life as, as people, where he saw program us, they give us that, that low self esteem that we watch ourselves and nothing, and even we hate our brother, like, nigga, fuck is you, nigga, you understand? If, it, if you're being told that there is nothing all your life, you're grow up believing that there is nothing, Mama. and that is what they do to us, that is what they do to us, but the glorious light shining on us, Pursuing to um, Isaiah chapter 16, it says, Arise and shine for thy light is come. To the Lord, we turn light unto Israel. That is why we, you know, everybody will talk about kings and king and king. You understand? Because why they realize them, but pursuing to um, 
Uziah chapter 7, I believe verse 9, they said they return, but not unto the most high. You understand the return, and you return, you coin yourself, you still name yourself Israel, but you're not calling upon the name you have, Hashem, and Hashem. And for the most part, a lot of you not doing things written in the Bible, you still want to live according to the course of this life. And that will actually cause you to be destroyed. So here, yeah. this is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 15 it says because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell we are at agreement when the overflowing scourge shall pass through it shall not come unto us for we have made lies our refuge and under falsehood have we hid ourselves and for all you in these other camps and you know not wanting to turn to the truth that is that your mindset. You understand? But really and truly, what you're saying is that they on the whole sin of we hate ourselves. And you like lies. The scriptures talk about that are without are the ones that love and make it alive. Right? Um verse 18 it says, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then he shall be trodden down by it. He says, For the time that it goeth forth, it shall take you. For morning to mo by morning shall it pass over, by day and day, by day and by night. He says, And it shall be a vexation oh, um, only to understand the report. The writer says, For the bed is shorter than a man can stretch himself on it, and the covering narrow that he can wrap himself in it. So you're not going to have no ease. Mm -hmm. You're only going to have ease with Yahweh Hashem El Shai. In the day of Jacob's trouble, the scriptures say, but he shall be saved from it. Who going to save you? Who going to be your help, your succor in the day of trouble? Mm -hmm. Only Yahweh Hashem El Shai. And, and even as, you know, as the head apostle, the apostle said, so this year could be, be hopefully a Jacob's trouble. I mean, a lot of people, all right, yeah, I mean, the whole house is just going to get beaten. Even the scripture says, um, in Ezekiel says, he will punish the righteous with the unrighteous. Right? Because that's what everybody going to get those like the anger. Right? Because all of sin have come short of the glory of the Lord. But the elect, the elect is who going to be saved in that time. And we're looking for that time of Jacob's trouble because guess what? We, want, we know Jacob's trouble has to come so we can get the help up out of here. You understand? And we see how the time is. You know, as El Apostle Ty did that video, you know, basically this could be the um, um, Armageddon has started. Right? Because guess where, where that whole that, that hot spot right now with Israel, Hezbollah, Houthis, you know, Hamas, right? And just just you know, the Gaza Strip is more you know. And basically the cities were spilling over. Now we had the JN variant. Um, right you now in Trinidad here, yeah, they, they're talking about starting back to wear masks and things. And guess what? They're not going to close on Carnival. Which is uh, uh, when everybody comes together at mass population, we're not going to Yeah. Express. So it is. That is the, that is the excuse. You understand? That is the excuse to bring in, you know, yeah, to the lockdowns and whatnot. You understand? Yeah. But you think he, 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 he's really wise, but guess what? As the scripture says, he's disappointed in yeah. wise and crafty. Yeah, yeah. We, we're looking forward to it. You know, hey, we have to get in here about Shemir Shai. You know, even if we fall, we are confident in scripture. So don't lose your confidence in your Hashem and Shai. You know, he that um, you know, enjoy to the end, the same shall be saved. You know, and so long as we believe, you know, even if we die on this side, you know, the scripture said those that sleep, you know, they're gonna arise with our shai first. And we're looking for that. In death or life, the scripture say no, we want to get who shall separate us from the love of Yahu Shai. You understand? Death, none of these things. But if you so want to bring it, Negro, bring it. You understand? Bring it. You know, the, 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 the flesh may be weak, but hey, as, as the, the angels minister unto Yahushai, all we have to do is have faith in Yahushai and pray, and he will send the angels to minister unto us in, in, in we week is all, and his strength is known in the You understand? So, yeah. It says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, and verse 1. Thus said Yahabah Shem Yahushai, Behold, I will rise up against Babylon. And against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind and i will send unto babylon fanners these are the nations within their capability 
and they shall fan her and shall empty. Sack, yeah. Um, the, the Hong Fan, one of the Chinese um, nuclear missiles, it is top, top one of the, the fastest missiles in the world, but it's named Hong Fan when it translates to East Wind. And with the wind does too blow. <laughs> you understand? And the scriptures talk about the East Wind. You understand? Yeah. So, yeah. And they shall empty her land, hmm. for in the day of trouble they shall be again surrounded about. It says, against him that bended the bow, let the archer bend the bow, um, slack. Against him that bend it, let the archer bend his bow. And against him that lifted himself up in his um, brigadine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy her ut destroy utterly, ye destroy ye utterly all her hosts. He says, thus said, um, thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they shall, and they that are trust true in her streets. So just like you know, um, when Russia, North Korea, China, they put all their nuclear um, thing, the ballistic missiles. When they see they come out on some of those big trucks with like what, twenty something wheels, right? Some of them they they could either go straight up or they arch, just like an archer. The yeah, archer does too. He does arch. That's why it's called an archer. You understand? So the, um, the, the, the machines are carrying the um, missiles. They actually arch. Verse 5 it says, For Israel had not been forsaken, or Judah of his God. It says, Of the Lord of hosts, it says, Though their land was full of sin, with sin against the Holy One of Israel. It says, Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Even America right now is showing that it have um, mass exodus of people leaving from one state to go to our next, or some even leaving from America on whole to uh, go to other countries. They say uh, New York is one of the hotspots for nuclear bombs and Washington DC. <laughs> so mostly all those nations, you know, will have an uh, a nuclear bomb targeting fucking New York City and Washington. And we're talking about France, we're talking about the UK, we're talking about China, we're talking about North Korea, um, and, and, and um, Russia. And because what they would do, they would want to target the main points, the main areas to totally destabilize that country. That's right. It says, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render her a recompense. It says Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken her wine, therefore the nations are mad. It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take time for her pain. If so, she may be healed. Because they say, yeah, yeah, we, will, we, will, we will come back out of the ashes and we will do everything good. Now, it says we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. And let us go every man into his own country for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies it says the harbor shami and shai had brought forth our righteousness come and let us declare and the work of the lord our god and that's what we're doing right now we declare the work the work the wonderful workings of yahaba shami and shai by what my prophet said it says make bright the arrows gather the shields the Lord had raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes for his devices. His, um, for his device is against Babylon. That go back to the Russians. Right? It says to destroy because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. And who is the temple? You need those Latinos and Native Americans which make up the house of Israel. So it's the temple of the Lord. Alright? It says set up a standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong and set up the watchman. Prepare the ambushes for your Hava Shemi Al Shai um, had bought device and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. So it didn't come to pass. Alright? That's the big one. Yeah. It says, O thou that dwellest upon many waters. And I'm going back to our Revelation chapter 17. Whore that set it upon many waters. Whore that set it upon many waters is who? America. Alright? It 
says, O oh, thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasure. Then Revelation 18, too. Uh, abundant in treasures. It says, Thine end is come, and the measure of thy covetousness. Abba Shem Yashar Post has sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up the, um, the scout, the army, um, shout against thee. The Lord say, and fill you with men. All these nations that gather around about and bring destruction upon America. Right. You understand? The end is coming. I say, and end is coming. I say, and end is coming. Watch it quickly. And end is coming. And, and also, what she's known as what the the war. This scripture says she shall open her leg um, as a quiver to every arrow. Also, all these ICBM bombs will be falling up. You, you, you want to take it? <laughs> you understand? This I want to take it. You understand? Yeah, so we can bring it to the car, but I need more with it. Okay. Right. It says, He that made the earth by his power, he had established the world by his wisdom, and has stretched out the heaven by his understanding. He says, When he uttered his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens, and he caused the vapors that are sent from the ends of the earth. It says, He made lightning and with rain, and bring it forth the wind out by his treasure. That is why he said, Fear ye not me. All right, um, jumping on to verse 24, it says, I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of the Chaldeans all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, said the Lord. So that's why he says, The vengeance of his temple for the Lord coming to bring destruction for what you did. He that touched you, touched me. Understand? He said, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, said the Lord, which destroy all the earth. No talk about what you come out of the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and I will roll down from um, thee down from the rocks, and I will make thee a burnt mountain. Um, I think it's in Malachi. Talk about the um the day that I'm burn like an oven. Yeah, Malachi going forward. You understand? The Lord can is extreme heat. Extreme heat, the Lord. The Hama Shemel Shai gonna bring upon the world. And the only way gonna escape is to be able to be in the spirit. But the spirit is fire. Yeah. That, 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 that change I think that body also because you can fall out. And no human being can even survive that if you fall out. Yeah. Going on, it says. And they shall not take thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for a foundation, but thou shalt be desolate forever, said Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Alright? Um, verse 30 says, The mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holes. And I. Yeah? 5%. It says, well, let's look at that, I'm going to have 5% and I run them quick. It says they have remained in their holes. It says they, um, they might have failed. This scripture says, uh, fall upon us. Okay. Say unto the mountains, fall upon us, Revelation 6, and hide us from the rat and from the face of him that sits upon the throne. Uh, the lamb. lamb. It says they became as women. They have built their dwelling places, her bars are broken. It says, For thus said the Lord, the Abba Shemel shall post, the God of Israel, the daughter of Babylon, is, um, is like a threshing floor. It is time to treasure. Uh -huh. Yet a little while, and the time of our harvest shall come. See, let's see. See, let's see. I'm going to 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 Right. Yes, son. You know, grand deliver his men. You know, grand deliver all the luck. And you have to have hope and faith in your bar. Shame your shy that you will deliver because you promised. That's right. The scripture says, A thousand shall fall thy left and ten thousand at thy right, but it shall not come nigh thee. And you're going to be saved by faith. Faith is what going to save you and this gospel. That's right. Right? So you just have to hold on. It says, Fear to enjoy it until the end, the shall be saved. Right, so that you know, praises to Yahweh, but Hashem is shy. May you double on us, the apostles of great mercy, and do you well. Right. Salutations to the men of the whole plan, say, say, yeah.
But I'm not a Missa Makasa out here. Say, shall I warm, stay strong? I want to have a mom, I want to go wire, I want to have a warm yum. All right, until you leave it in the chariots, if you have a shy, shall I warm to be left.